For this next artist, it's been 11 years of designing, sculpting, and engaging in other creative activities. The graduate of Geography and Regional Planning has long put aside his certificate to focus on his art. Francis Mkuda is an artist who peddles his trade in Calabar, Crossover State, working on paintings, sculptures, fabrications and dressmaking for many years now. Today, he has his hands full, but he takes time from his busy schedule to greet us and talk about his artistic journey and the experience working in Calabar. I have been an artist uh, most, uh, most of my life, uh, but uh, a practicing artist for about uh, 15, about roughly 17 years. I've worked with uh, the government for a bit and I've worked with the private sector for a bit, but basically what, uh, what I, I love to do is the arts. So I just find that if, when I come to the arts, I, I am myself. Calabar has a certain degree of art appreciation, but you know, if you have to marry that with uh, returns on investments, it's another story. So I wouldn't say they don't like the art, they like the art, but uh, the value for it might be different from what you get from other, other places. He is always a big part of the Calabar Carnival and tells us all the work that goes on behind the scenes before D-Day. Apart from the winning, the streaks of winnings that we've had, um, I think what, what excites me is when I see, when I say story, you know, we have a story, when I see the, the, the end product of the story on the road and then we see the entirety of the picture, you know, the, the, how the different parts of the art merges on the road, that's what excites me. Although he studied geography and regional planning at the University of Calabar and hospitality management with the National Open University of Nigeria, his art development has been basically through online studies and research, as he's always anxious to learn something new. A wall moral I did in Oweri. Yes, that, that's, that's, that's like my biggest job in one place. I had to paint the entire building, put a wall mural on it. And it's, it's, it's the style I created. And I've had it for years in my mind, just juggling in my mind, a, a certain uh, art style. Then I had the opportunity to put it, to bring it to life. And the quest for knowledge seems to be paying off. If one takes a critical look at his works of art, the curves, lines and colours. This is acrylic painting on black canvas. Well, this is a form of expressionism. You know, you can have, you can see some um, some realism in it, but it's it's more of the style is more of expressionism. Uh, the inspiration I got from um, for doing this, you know, back when I was in secondary school, I used to, I used to have, like to do a lot with the biro. So, this is biro portrait, you know, biro and acrylic, you know. So I used the biro, I used the black biro, I used acrylic for the colors, and then for the portraits. For him, inspiration can be found in the most unlikely places and it pushes him to get the materials to bring that idea to life. We saw some locally, we, well, when I, when I mean locally, there's just a few things locally, like we have to work with trees and branches and stuff like that. But basically, the things we work with are things we have to buy. Uh, we'll buy within the, with the country or we can buy outside, outside the, out of the country. for this week is someone that specializes in making people dance while singing. He's aging gracefully and still has great moves.
Born September the 22nd, 1946 to a royal family in Ondo State, Sonde Adeniyi, popularly called Sani Ade, is a musician, singer-songwriter, multi-instrumentalist and a pioneer of modern world music. He began his career with Moses Olaya's Federal Rhythm Dandies, a high-life band. He left to form a new band, The Green Spots, in 1967. For various reasons, ranging from changes in his music to business concerns, Sonia Day's band changed its name several times, first to African Beats and then to Golden Mercury. In the 1970s and 1980s, Ade embarked on a tour of America and Europe. His stage act was characterized by dexterous dancing steps and mastery of the guitar. His next album, Synchro System, produced in 1983, was equally successful and earned him his first Grammy Award nomination in the folk ethnic music category. It's been decades of resounding success for this artist who has received a lot of accolades for his type of music. He's been classed as one of the most influential musicians of all time. Talk about a living legend. Yes, King Sonny Ade is our artist for this week and he's aging like fine wine. A lot of us pray to be as vibrant and as talented as that when we get to his age. And with that, we wrap up this week's edition of Art House. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. And let's do this again next week.